Christian Business Alliance, it started out as part of the Gay Community Center, and that was about three years ago. I took over about a year ago. Our goal is to work with LGBT folks in the greater Richmond area and those who are friendly to that community, and not only promote business interests, but also a sense of community. And as a business owner, I think that the business community is now starting to see the benefit of hiring qualified people, just as race and religion have nothing to do with whether you can perform any given task in the working world. Neither does your sexual preference or gender identity. If you're a qualified person, you're a qualified person. I think we're all Americans. We all want good things for our country, for our local, our state, and national communities. No matter what you believe socially, I think most everybody can agree that they want their communities to thrive and their nations to succeed. When really, we're all working towards the same goal. So it's, it's not as simple as saying black and white. It's, it's a world of gray. And diversity adds uh, intricacies and complexities to any business organization that only benefit and everyone, everyone that was involved. So by excluding diversity, inhibiting qualified candidates from entering the workforce in the state of Virginia, you are endangering the business community as a whole. A fifth or a quarter of our membership are identify as heterosexual, and they see the value of the LGBT workforce. I think it'd be great if we just grant marriage equality so we can start focusing on issues like education and transportation, national security, the economy, things that as a society we need to come together to focus on and not let social issues like marriage equality divide us and prevent us from addressing larger concerns. You are one side of the aisle, you're missing out on a good percentage of people who, although they have different belief systems than you might, you're missing out on the common ground that you do have.